right, Bree, thank you very much. Tonight we're getting a glimpse at what it's going to take for the state's current electric infrastructure to keep up with more and more demands on the grid as the state pushes towards zero emissions goals. And that means more electric cars and buildings. Yeah, National Grid is in the final phase of a two and a half year project to help facilitate this transition in Ticonderoga, replacing more than 200 transmission towers along the 40 mile line, which serves 10,000 of the more than a million National Grid customers. CBS 6's Tom Eshen got an exclusive look and tonight tells us why a project like this is really just the tip of the iceberg. Well, before we take you to the top, we should probably start here at the bottom. This 47-degree incline road had to be built before they even started to begin to work up there. This is so that way the machinery and the personnel could get to the top to be able to get this project going. It took months for this to take place, so that way the work could begin up there. It's years of planning, it's years of permitting, it's years of working with local landowners for access, mm -hmm. and it's also years of building the access roads in order to access these structures on top of mountains, mm -hmm. right? So once the road is finally built out, then the work can start here on the lines themselves. About 40 to 50 people per day to help upgrade this infrastructure. And they say getting those people in the pipeline when it comes to workforce... Keep up with with those demands. You mentioned getting there, but in that in between now and then, how do you keep up? Yeah, I think uh, a lot of that, you know, to build this to build this infrastructure, we need people, right? And we invest in our workforce through apprenticeship training. We invest in uh, partnerships with local BOCI schools to try and, you know, show the kids that this is an avenue for really uh, enriching work that means a lot to society. On top of workforce, funding is needed too. The Department of Energy recently awarded National Grid a grant of $50 million to help the company collect data needed to build a more resilient grid. This, as the state becomes more reliant on renewable energy like solar and wind. We need to be able to build our system out. It wasn't really designed for that back in the 1940s and 50s when we were building our uh, infrastructure out. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing today. And when it comes to the cost to consumers, making the infrastructure more reliable should help, but they want to incentivize changing some habits too. We'll benefit uh, the customer to charge during off-peak hours. So, you know, they get home, everybody gets home at night, they turn the oven on, they turn all their lights on, maybe wait until the off-peak hours when you go to bed to then charge your car. And that's, that's gonna be kind of societal shift of, you know, how we use our energy. And they estimate the build of the current electric infrastructure will need to be doubled or even tripled what it is right now. This project a step in what looks to be a steep road ahead. Reporting from Ticonderoga, Tom Eschen, CBS 6 News.